we're now going to do French knots. I'm just going to do one here for the dot of the eye. So these little circles here represent French knots, which are a different stitch than what we've done so far with the cross stitch and the back stitch. And you can see here it says on the key French knots, black, and says here that if it's blue on the key, then it means stitch it with two strands of black, which is what we're doing for the writing. So where it is on the grid shows you where the French knot is. So we're going where to put your needle up at the beginning of the French knot. So it's coming in through this hole here in the ADA. We're going to use this idea of the ADA being split into strands vertically and horizontally that we've used for the fractional cross stitch and fractional back stitch. So I'm putting my needle down here. I'm going to bring it up here for the French knot. Now, I'm going to hold my thread out and twist, put my needle here, and twist the thread twice around the French knot. Okay, and then you hold it taut and you want to push your needle back in through one strand away from the hole. Now, see, I've accidentally put it through the hole. I'm slightly balancing. Whoops, and I've let go of the loop, which is okay. I just do it again. Slightly balancing, trying to hold the hoop up so that you can see. So I don't want to go back down through the hole that I came up. I want to go through this one stitch to the right here. One, not one stitch, one line of the vertical ADA. And keep it taut like this. And pull your needle through. Now pull it through slowly and carefully, otherwise it can get caught further up. I've let go and I'm gradually pulling it through. And that's formed the knot. Okay, so that's how you do a French knot. I'm going to carry on, do the next three letters and then repeat it for the next I. I've started a new thread, so my thread's a bit longer. And I'm going to repeat another French knot here for the dot on the eye in going. So again, bring your needle up at the point marked on the chart. Now take your thread to the side like this, your needle here, and twist the thread around it twice. Okay, you've then got it taut, you're holding this taut. If you let it get loose, then it all goes a bit wrong. And I'm trying to push the needle through one strand to the side. I'm picking the right. You can pick any side you want. Just one strand across. If you go back down through the same hole, you'll pull the knot through. You need to get that strand across. I'm still holding it as I push the needle through. Gently pull the thread through. Guiding it through. Don't rush. Yeah, I've let go now. Gently pull it through. And it's formed the knot. And that's how you do French knots.